We're here at Thriller Fest. How, how many years have you been here coming to Thriller? I've never missed one. I was at the first oh. one in Arizona, and then when it was 108 degrees outside, it was, <laughs> it was fun. And then we moved here. So I've been, I've been to every one of them. Oh, nice. How, how have you seen it evolve over the years? I'm, I'm just surprised that we get more people every year. I, yeah. I keep thinking that we, we must have gotten everybody who writes and reads thrillers and, and, and that can you know, afford to come to New York and stay here. Um, but they get more and more every year. It gets bigger and bigger. Uh, and it's a great organization. I mean, it's, I belong to a number of writers groups, but this is the only one where they don't charge me dues yeah. every year, which is very nice. And I've contributed to the, the first anthology thriller and um, that put the, uh, put the group on a, a solid financial footing because yeah. it was very successful. And, and the other, other um, anthology since then have been successful. I mean, and even more successful, Face Off was huge, yeah. absolutely huge. Yeah, yeah, I remember Face Off coming out last year. I was year. in that too. So, so I've, I've been contributing whenever I can. Yeah. And tell us about your new book that's out now, that came out in November. It's Sphere City. It's um, the last Repairman Jack novel. I'm, I'm retiring the character <laughs> after 23 books. And um, it, it was kind of sad, in a way, yeah. to, to tie it up like that. But I went back uh, to his early years in New York City, and I wrote three books about they called the early years trilogy, I guess, of, of you know when he first came to to the city. Because when you pick up in the the main body, of the city he's already established, and he's in his mid thirties. Here he's twenty one years old and just learning the ropes. So that was that was a lot of fun. Is his character based on anybody? No. Well, I mean, his character started off as sort of like a he's an urban mercenary mm-hmm. with no identity. He doesn't. We, nobody knows his last name, including me. Um, mm. But you know, he doesn't pay taxes. He um, all his ID is fake, and he he lives in. He's the ghost in the machine. He lives in in the spaces between everything, and um, and he hires out to fix situations. Mm. So, and people you know sit down with him in in a, in a bar, and they say what they need done, and. If he thinks he can do it, he'll do it. You know, and he charges. You know, he doesn't do it for free. He's not a Robin right. Hood. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, that's his job. Yeah, and he's a but he's, it's a blue collar type of vibe that he has. You know, mm-hmm. and so, and I just intended to write one book about him. Oh, oh. That's, you know, back in 1984, and um, I didn't want to do a series character, and it took me 14 years before I wrote the second book because I came up with something that was perfect for him, and I was just going to write one more. Uh-huh. And then it sold really well, and the publisher said, can you write another one? I said, okay, I'll write it, just one more. <laughs> and then I had such fun with it, and I said, okay, let's, let's see how far this goes. I mean, I never intended it to be an open-ended series. I knew it was going to end, right. and now I'm ending it. So. How, what has the response from the fans been that, that it's ending? Um, anger, <laughs> hostility, <laughs> grief. Um, now, I mean, it's and you know a lot of the writers here are fans uh, of Jack. I mean, yeah. I, I, I was just saying at, at a panel, I'm just saying, well, and I, you know, I put Jack out the pasture, and one of the guys went, no, <laughs> on, the, on the panel. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, you know, after 23 books, you know, people get attached. Yeah. So, and I get attached too, but you know. You almost feel like you want to hold a memorial service for him. <laughs> I didn't kill him. I didn't kill him. And I, and I, I may bring him back. I mean, if, if there's a, a book comes along uh, that's right for him, I'll do it. But I've been delivering a Repairman Jack novel every fall. Yeah. You know, f- for decades. And, um, you know, it's just, I think I'd like to go, you know, I, I want to go out on a high note with him. I don't want yeah. to run him into the dirt like you know some some characters have been run into good characters have been run into the dirt by just doing too many stories or or continuing after the author dies and then someone right. else is, is is still continuing it. I mean, you know, t- sometimes it's time to let go. Yeah. What other advice do you have for someone who wants to create a character in a series? 
See, yeah, I, I came at it not wanting to create a character, so it's, it's hard. <laughs> Because uh, I left him dying at the end of the first book, because after I finished right. it. So for you, because you didn't set out to do it, so for it's been almost an accidental thing to have. Yes. But, well, the thing is, when I finished the first book, I knew I had a serious character, mm -hmm. but I didn't want to write a series, so I left him dying. And but the thing is, you know, the, the book wound up on the Times bestseller list, and it never went out of print. So yeah. year after year, more and more people were reading it, and more and more. And, and it was hard to get in touch with an author back then. You had to write to the publisher, the publisher would forward it to the agent, and then the agent would forward it to you. So you know, right. a month after someone wrote the letter, you got it. Yeah. Nowadays, it's oh, instantaneous. Mm -hmm. So I, I know exactly what people are thinking. You know, uh, and you know, to sit down and write a letter to somebody takes a lot of effort and thought. You know, yeah. To type out a little tweet mm -hmm. is, is, is nothing. So, you, yeah. so the feedback now is much, uh, much greater, but I did get plenty of feedback about you know when are you bringing him back? When are you bringing him back? And um, and I was at the end of a contract, a multi-book contract, and I came up with an idea that was perfect for him. So I said, well, I'll finish the contract with with this book, and and that was it. Because I was you know I was always afraid that a series character would take over my writing career, and. Right. And it did. Yeah. <laughs> it did. 26 books later, 23 yeah. books later, uh, he did. So. But it's not, it's not a bad thing, though. <laughs> no, it's not a bad thing. Um, and, and, the, and the good thing is I just sold a, a, a mystery adventure novel that's very unlike the Repairman Jack oh, books. Great. Yeah, I was just going to ask if you have anything else coming out. So, I mean, yeah, but you wonder if, you know, if it, how it's going to be received by you know, the publisher, first of all. Because you know it's not Jack. Why isn't it Jack? Yeah. You know, and um, this isn't like those books. No, it's different. <laughs> you know, um, I just want to try something different. So I mean, Jack has been in New York City the whole, almost the whole time. I sent him yeah. to Florida once to visit his father, but you know, otherwise he's been in New York City. So the new book, you know, it, it goes to uh, Mexico, it goes to Israel, it goes to, to southern France, it goes to Scotland. So I'm, I'm all over the map with that. Yeah. So and, and that was fun. That was fun. But did you did you go to all those places for research? No, <laughs> no. That's the that would be pretty expensive. <laughs> it, it would. It'd be deductible. But yeah. um, uh, it's amazing what you can do with Google Earth. Yeah. I'm not kidding. It's because yeah, you, you could see it. You, I can, you can walk down the street. Yeah. So, um, I mean, I had one scene set south of Paris, mm -hmm. and I just got on the road and I started going around, and I came across this um, restaurant called the Duck Pond, and they specialized in duck. Mm -hmm. And I said, oh, I'm going to have the characters go there, and so I had. So just through Google Earth, you. Yeah, but then I got on the on on the web and I and I and I looked up the place and I got their menu, so I you know I had them sit down there and and you know talk about you know eating Huey, Dewey, and Louie and and stuff like that. Yeah. But um, it's just amazing. You don't you can be there without being there. Right, right. So. And that's sort of what what reading a book is really. Yeah, yeah, and. Um, I'm sure that people, when they read that passage, are going to say, oh, he was obviously there. Yeah. You know? So, and he's writing, he's writing off his meal there, so he can, you know? <laughs> right. so, uh, so he puts it in the book. But it really, it, it was never there. Wow, that's really interesting. It is, it's really, it, it's, it's very, it's, it's a neat thing for, for writers now. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for speaking with us. Oh, my pleasure. Yeah. It was fun.